back from the Sportsmax Zone. Dramatic finish to the group stage of the ICC Women's World Cup in New Zealand. The final game ending in a thrilling three-wicket victory for South Africa over India early on Sunday morning Caribbean time. The result meaning India were knocked out of the tournament while the West Indies celebrated a place in the semis. Ricardo Chambers chronicles how it went down. One of two things needed to happen for West Indies to reach the ICC Women's World Cup semi-finals. Bangladesh needed to beat defending champions England or South Africa get the better of 2017 beaten finalists India. It became apparent quite early that Bangladesh would be no match for England. Led by 67 from Sophia Dunkley, England posted 234 for six. They then bowled out Bangladesh for 134 in 48 overs to register their fourth straight win and seal their semi-final place. By the time that match was finished, the India-South Africa affair had gotten to the halfway point, and truth is, things did not seem too encouraging for the West Indies. India had piled up an imposing 274 for 7 with Smriti Mandana 71, shot from Mandana. Shafali Verma 53. That is how you get to 50. And Mitali Raj 68, all scoring half centuries. From Mitali Raj in a crucial game for England. So 11 15 World Cups to go with two centuries. South Africa's 16 match had beaten a record when chasing seemed under threat. But the tournament's leading run scorer, Laura Wolfhard, set up the chase with 80 from 79 deliveries to give South Africa hope and, by extension, the West Indies. Mignon Dupree then played the perfect finisher's role with an unbeaten 52 of 63 balls. The match going to the wire, South Africa needing seven of the last over and three of two balls when Dupree was caught at long on. India thought they had it. The West Indies' hope seemed dashed, but then... It's a no ball. It's a no ball. And with that, all the hearts in India start breaking. Dupree surviving to hit the winning run of the final ball. Victory for South Africa. Celebrations for the West Indies team back at their hotel. Tears dragon continues in this World Cup. They are back to winning ways and go to the semi final with the second highest chase in World Cup history. Thanks, Ricardo. So with those results, the West Indies women ended fourth in the preliminary round, qualifying for their second ever World Cup semi-final. The West Indians, who accumulated seven points, finished behind the table toppers Australia on 14, South Africa 11, and England on 8. India ended fifth on six points ahead of the hosts. New Zealand, Pakistan, and Bangladesh had two points each. Now, we are pleased to be joined live from New Zealand by the Windies women's captain, Stefani Taylor. I guess you could call her the calm one. Uh, Stefani, describe to us uh, your emotions in that moment as our semi-final spot was confirmed. Caribbean time, Sunday morning. Um, I guess you would say, I would, what of everyone, I was probably the calmest. Um, and I, I guess that's just part of my personality, really. Um, but, you know, during the game, I was a bit... I was a bit nervous. Um, so when, you know, when Mignon got caught, I was like, oh, shoot, we're definitely out now. And then I realized, oh, it's a no ball. I was like, whoa, okay, things change. Um, but yeah, I was um, probably happy in my, in my own way, maybe inside, but not on the outside. Yeah, I heard you telling the CWI um, cricket uh, television, that you were kind of on vacation mode because it, it, the, the, the team was in limbo. You weren't sure whether you would, you would continue on in the tournament. Um, but you've got to get back to work now. So what has the last 24 hours been like? Um, yeah, it, it's, it's um, yeah, for the last probably four, three days or so, um, you know, we, we got to Wellington after um, our game against... Pakistan and, you know, we played South Africa and um, that game, you know, the rain interfered. Can't really do much about that. And, yeah, with that one point, we were just, you know, kind of sitting and waiting around to see what happened with the South Africa and India game, which is, you know, crucial for us. Um, so that time, I, I pretty much tried to, you know, stay away from cricket, get my mind away from the game, go for walks and... Um, 
have some food outside of the hotel and, you know, kind of get my head space in a, you know, get my mental space kind of right. And yeah, when everything happened, I had to like, oh yeah, we're back on, get my West Indies clothes on. Um, so yeah, 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 yesterday we had training and, you know, we have another training session today before tomorrow's semifinal encounter. Uh, Stefani, um, are you physically okay, 100%? How are you feeling? Um, 100%, I'm not. I'm physically not okay. Um, but What's wrong? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... The, the physio is working really hard, overnight and day in, day out. What exactly is the issue? Um... I'm not sure if I could actually say. Um, I'm not sure if they, they'd want me to say, but it's it's an injury I've struggled with for a while now, and it keep um, you know occurring. So it's all about managing and strength work in the gym, and yeah, try to keep it you know under control. Yeah, sometimes I see you struggling in the field, especially when you're bowling. So I was just wondering if it has affected that when when you're in the field yes yes all right um let, let's look ahead to uh, this matchup it's a big one against australia it's a team that we have only beaten uh, once in over a dozen games what are your thoughts on them in particular um m mentally wise how do you think you'll be able to overcome that um we know that australia has a lot of depth um especially in the batting well you know all around pretty much um you know, the positive that we, we try to take away or we're going to take away is when we play them in the group stage, um, you know, or bowling, the way we bowl to them, um, I thought that was fantastic. But, you know, looking back, um, you know, we find that they're a team that, you know, absorb pressure and then apply it. So we have to find a way that when we're in to, you know, try to stay in and... Definitely, we have to score runs. Um, can't be scoring one one fifty against Australia, and um, you know, thinking that that that's it. I think anything over probably two fifty would be competitive, and that's something that we have to aim to get. As Stefani Haley Matthews said, no one had us in their semi-final spots. To be able to come here and exceed expectations, even just reaching the semis, has been amazing. Being able to beat some of the bigger teams was massive on our list. Um, based on the fact that you've exceeded expectations, I mean, how do you try and improve that uh, so you don't drop your guard and, and, and probably perform substandard against this Australia team? How do you manage that process? I think it's, it's important that you try to keep outside noise out. Um, you know, you, you'll hear good and you'll also hear bad things. And I always believe that you, you have to try and focus on and you know, focus on us as a team. Um, what what we what we wanna what we wanna do. And yeah, expectation is going to be there, but you just try to do the basic and the things that. Um, that you, you know, help you to improve and you want to improve on. Um, yeah, we started the tournament on a high. In the middle there, kind of get a bit patchy, um, you know, with, with even that, like, traveling wasn't really great. Not having recovery period, you know, took a toll on and, and, and some of us mentally and, and physically. Um, so it was nice to, to get a bit of break where you can, you know, regroup. And I, and I really hope that you know, with this break, um, we could, you know, regroup, regroup and, you know, turn things around. Stefani, is there something about the psyche of this team that wills it to perform against the better teams? Because your victories over England and uh, New Zealand were not only unexpected, but they came against two of the top teams in, in the tournament. Is it that there's something about the, your, your unit that, that will rise to, to tackle uh, uh, an, an opposition that is favored to beat you? Yeah, I, I think uh, we, before, before we actually, you know, came here, we spoke about um, how our four, our four games are going to be, you know, really tough. And, you know, how do we want to go about those games? And, you know, if we could win two of those games, um, it would probably put us in a, a really good stead. 
um, you know, in the middle and also in the in the back end. Um, so we had we had a, we had a plan. Um, it didn't really turn out the way we'd like, but yeah, definitely when we we do play top teams, um, we try our very best to you know bring out our you know our A game because you know you're playing with the top against the top team, and you want to do well because you want to be the top team, and in order to be respected, you know you have to. You know, you have to keep beating these top teams or else you'll always be, you know, the underdogs. Um, I mean, sometimes it's not always bad, but um, just to get the respect that you deserve, you have to, you know, beat those top teams. Yeah, we're going to leave it here, Stefani. But just before you go, um, I know the pitch conditions will influence whatever decision is made with a toss. But strategically, would you prefer to bat first or be chasing runs against the Aussies? <laughs> That's a tough one. Um, I know that Aussie, they like to chase. Um, but I think at the same time, I I try not to think about think about opp opposition and look at, you know, the, our team and um, what we what we're good at. And what we, in order to win this game, this is what we got to do. So I think that's something that, you know, the coaches and myself, we always sit down and talk about. Um, so I think, you know, probably looking at the toss will decide um, what we're going to do. But we know that Australia, they, they're very good at chasing and they're also good at setting um, setting a target. So, um, mm. we're playing, probably playing on a, on a new pitch. So, yeah. We have to look at that and see, yeah. you know, what the condition is like tomorrow. Yeah. Understood, Stefani. Well, we wish you all the best of luck here from the Sports Max Zone. We know the Aussies are going to be tough, but we know the girls have some big games in them. So we hope that uh, this next up, this fixture coming up will, will uncork one of the big West Indies women's performance. Thanks for talking to us and um, give our regards to the rest of the team, Coach Courtney Walsh and the management team, and all the best for the semifinal. Thank you. Yes, Stefani Taylor. So, uh, Donald, interesting question you put to her there with regard to her overall physical fitness because we have seen her looking a little um, less than 70% chasing balls and so on. So she isn't, isn't, was, wasn't in a position where she wanted to give too much away with regard to the injury. But, but let's hope it doesn't surface too much in, in, in this Aussie semifinal because I think the West Indies women's team needs a strong and... Um, efficient Stefani Taylor to help them win this match. Yes, yeah, she was just, you know, taking uh, the victory in stride that uh, South Africa so the had. That, the screen there. Yeah, so she, yeah, she had that Kobe Bryant uh, look, you know, the, the, well, job's not finished yet. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're going there to, to try and beat uh, Australia and make it into the final. But yeah, that, I, I mean, there is some level of concern in regards to her fitness. Um, she didn't want to reveal too much, and I totally understand that. Um, but uh, let, let's hope, as she says, it's managed properly. So when she comes out to play uh, tomorrow, uh, she'll be close to or closer to 100%. Um, but in regards to whether she would appreciate um, whether she's whether she's batting first or batting last, I think they have an idea that probably their bowling is their stronger suit mm -hmm. um, because they've come up trumps on a couple of occasions uh, in this tournament. Um, but because the Aussies like to chase, there is probably some doubt as to whether we should play into their hands, so yeah. to speak. Um, but no, I think I think it's going to be closer than the last time we met in the in the in the preliminary round. So let's see. Yeah, well, going to be a tough match for mm -hmm. sure for this uh, Caribbean side. The Aussies are, have uh, played undefeated so far in uh, the preliminaries. We know that there's something called the law of average. So some <laughs> someone said today that the Aussies are due a loss. Let's see what will happen. We wish the girls the best of luck. We go to break, but when we come back, we still have a lot more cricket to talk about. And we go over to the men's side now and the tremendous uh, success for the uh, Craig Brathwaite-led team in the Richards Botham Trophy Series, uh, sponsored by Apex and Grenada, turning out to be trumps for the West Indies boys. Back in a moment. Keep watching Sportsmax on YouTube.
for live and exciting sports. Subscribe to SportsMax on cable and download the SportsMax app to watch anytime, anywhere.